stock you could find in Mint Canyon? That's all. Looks like some of our cattle are missing again. Well, after the fence is finished, we'll round up everything and see what we're short. That's a good idea. You better ride over to Wilson's and tell him about the fence. Buck Rankin's gonna kick like a steer when he finds out he can't run his sheep to our range anymore. I can't help it, Jim. That's the only way I figure we can stop this cattle rustler. I know, but... He's been looking for a chance to start this range war all over again. Maybe so. You tell Buck's partner. He'll understand. All right, Dad. I'll ride right over. All right, boys. Go ahead and finish the van. Oh, Ferry. Yes, sir. The boys will stay right here tonight. Oh, well, that'll be all right, boss. We've got plenty of grub. Yo no trabaja para usted. Yo trabaja para el señor Wilson. Oh, señor Wilson hired you, eh? Sí. Well, I'm firing you. Get out. Oh, but. Well, what do you want? What's the matter? Oh, I just fired this sheep herder of yours. 
Oh, what for? None of your business. Go on, on your way. Sanchi. Forget it. Go on back and tend to your sheep. Muni and Milgraf. Hey, you. What are you honing in for? Buck, Sanchez has been with me a long time, and I want him to stay. Oh, yeah? You know, ever since you and me have been partners, there's been nothing but trouble. Huh. Is that so? Yes, and I'm getting tired of it. Oh. And what are you going to do about it? Well, I, uh, uh that is, uh, well, you know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. You yellow. Sanchez, go on back to work. Si, senor. What did you do with it? You don't say on the staff. Oh, siempre no sabes on the staff. Busca los salices de la casa con él y no salió. No sé qué voy a hacer con él. You don't say on the staff. Y yo quiero que mi dinero tenga. Yo no sé dónde está. Busca los salices. Busca los salices. Yo no sé. Busca. Quiero que mi dinero tenga. Pobrecito, mi chivito. Busca los salices. Pobrecito, mi chivito. Al tiene hambre. Verá que tiene hambre. Te busco que si tiene hambre. Busca la noche tonta. Siempre están haciendo cosas. Saber dónde están. ¿Y por qué no lo tuviste entonces? ¿Qué? 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 Why, what's all the trouble, Ruth? Well, you don't say, perdimos. You don't say on the stock, and Oh, I'm sorry, why? I forgot. Oh, we lost the top of the bottle. Well, that's a shame. Buscalo, no te tomas el estado, 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 Here it is, here. Look at your funny, isn't it? Isn't that funny? Where's his mother? Oh, why, uh, his mother didn't come home last night. <laughs> That's the first time I ever heard of a ghost mother staying out all night. <laughs> He sure is. I think he is. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that funny? Yes. Yeah, hungry to me. Vamos a llevarlo al corral. Jim, I'll be back right away. All right, Ruth. I'll be down at the corral with your father. All right. Lo que vamos a hacer, lo vamos a llevar y lo vamos a poner a cerrar con los demás. Y yo pienso que la mamá de los padres... Hello, Mr. Walton. Why, hello, Jim. What brings you to this neck of the woods? Why, Dad sent me over with a message for you. How is your father, Jim? He's feeling pretty good, Tom. Well, that's fine. What are you doing here? My business is with Mr. Wilson. Oh, yeah. is that so? Yeah, that's so. Mm -hmm. Well, me and him's partners. He's the silent partner. I do all of the talking. Yes, Buck is a fast talker. Well, you can do a little listening for a change. Oh, yeah? Shoot. We're fencing in our range, and you can't drive your sheep to our pasture anymore. Fencing in your range? You that heard means me, we've got to find new grazing ground. Hog tie that tongue of yours. We ain't going to find nothing. Looks like a game of freeze out to me. And you've got all the cards stacked against us. It's not that, Buck. But we've been losing too many cattle lately. Hmm. Meaning what? Just what you think. Listen, you're choosing me to steal your cattle? Don't get tough with me, you'll I'm get hurt. Cattle, you ever Take your hands off them. Hi, 
way I like it. <laughs> well, he asked for it. Now you got it. Stop you from horning into my business, huh? <laughs> Is that so? Yes, that's so. Oh, Jim, don't. Please don't sign any more trouble, please. Well, he can't get away with that, Ruth. Ruth, let us go into the house. All right, Dan. I'm sorry this happened, Mr. Wilson. It's all right, Jim. Forget about it, won't you, Jim? Be a good boy. Well, I'll try, Ruth. Boy, come on, pal. How'd you happen to be there, Ruth? Well, I was at the corral when I saw it, Father. Oh, I see. You know, I'm not blaming Jim. But I can't understand what starts a fight. There's always trouble when Buck and Jim meet. There's Buck now. Say, Todd. Say, hey, you're going to run some of the sheep through Bledsoe's range tonight. What's the use of starting trouble with them again? We can find new grazing ground. Say, hey, we ain't going to find nothing. And you're going to do just as I say. Yes, but we can't. Why not? They've got a fence now. Oh, they've got a fence now, huh? Well, listen. I'm going to tear that fence up to the roots tonight and wrap it around their necks. Father, I don't want you mixed up in this. Hey, what are you horning in for? Because you're just using Dad and his sheep to start the old trouble again. Oh. Well, now, Ruth. Don't do that. Oh, but me and Tuck's partners. I'm just trying to protect our interests. Maybe he's right, Ruth. Why, you know he's wrong, Father. The blessers have a perfect right to fence in their land if they want to. Yes? And just what are you going to do about it? I'll show you. Say, Ruth, come here. We'll be there. Get out quick. What's the matter? Why, get after young Bledsoe. He knows we're going to do something tonight. Come on, get out of I'll get my horse.
Hate to disappoint you, but you ain't going to that fence tonight. Is that so? Yes, that's so. Well, who's going to stop me? Oh, can never tell. Maybe I will. <laughs> Give me a rope, Lefty. We'll tie this bird up. Action, boys! Pull it and get away! Hurry! Mary calls up to the tree, sir! All right. Hold these arms while I throw a couple half pitches on them. My boy will sure be riding after you, Lefty. Yeah? All right, right around the tree, Red. Got the rope, boys. All right, we got him. Get him right up again, sir. I'm up. All right, wait a minute. Well, I guess that'll hold you, young fella. That's okay. Well, we got him, Buck. Well, well. <laughs> Guess you've got me where you want me, Buck. Yeah. You think you're smart, eh? But he ain't smart enough for me. Is that so? Yes, that's so. You'll stay hobbled this tree till we get through. You better make pretty sure you're hobbled. But when I get loose, I'm coming after you. Yeah? Well, come ahead. I'll be waiting for you. Come on. Let's hide out of the ranch. Come on. Kid got clean away from us on poker flats. Oh, I'm so glad. What's that? Oh, I mean, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Come here. Where's your sheep? Some of them are at Henderson's barn. Fine. We'll run them across tonight without any trouble. Trouble. Instead of hunting trouble, we ought to be hunting new range. Now listen, Tug. This ain't no fence country. And if we let Bledsoe get away with his fence, why, pretty soon there won't be any range for no one. How come? Well, it's just like drinking. One fence calls for another. But in a year from now, 
every sheep man will be driven off the open range. I guess you're right, Buck. Sure. I'm always right, Tug. Well, see you later. Everything's okay. Tug will be there with his sheep tonight. Might as well be getting on, I guess. Well, that's a good idea. That's funny, Pike. Dad, are you going through with this? It seems like the best way out, Ruth. It's not the best way out. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Well, what do you mean? Dad, do you remember the year of the big drought? <laughs> I'll never forget it. Who let you have grass and water to keep your sheep from dying? Why, Tom Bledsoe. And the next year, who helped you get back on your feet? He did. Oh, Dad, are you going to double-cross the best friend you ever had? Are you? Why, I never thought of that. Oh, Dad, don't, please. You're right, Ruth. I'm not going through with it. Oh, that's the way to talk, old-timer. I'm going to Henderson's and drive them sheep back home. Oh, Daddy! I'm so proud of you now. Well, you watch my smoke from now on. I sure will. Boy! Come here, pal. Come on, pal. Let's tie those ropes, pal. Come on, boy. Yeah. Come on, pal. Yeah. Come on, boy. Back there. Yeah. Come on. Let's tie those ropes, boy. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Get it. Get it. Bad up, boy. Get it. Untie that rope. That's the boy. Matter. Why don't you sing that number you were singing the other day? Uh, sliding along or staggering along or something? I don't Say, know. Say, you mean roll, roll, rolling along. Roll along. That's it. Roll, that's roll, the one. Roll. That's the one. Okay. Hey, that's, a, that's a good number. Come on, let's try it. We'll sing it together. What do you say? All okay. right. Okay, yeah. You fellas remember the words? Sure. Oh, yeah, we know. Boom, boom. I love to listen to the whipper will and watch the sun creep o'er the hill. Greet the newborn day, and then I'm on my way. I love to wander beneath the open sky, and let the world go drifting by. I'm happy as can be, here's my philosophy. What can pursue me, I'm never gloomy, I keep on singing a song. Rain or shine, the 
Well, I guess we'll be going home tomorrow. Yeah, I guess so. I wonder where Jim is. Oh, I guess he must have stayed over at the ranch house tonight. You guys, pipe down, let him fall asleep. Oh, you're asleep. All right, you're boys, awake. put him up. What's the big idea, Red? Boys, I said put him in the air. Come on, get up. Come on. Hey, what's the idea? Come on. Come on, move him in here at this post. Get him in here. Come on, Tommy. 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 What's the idea, Tug? Hello, Buck. What does this mean? Just what it says. I'm through, and them sheep are going back home. I always knew you were yellow. Let me go, Buck. Let me go. All right, I'll let you go. I'm going to drive those sheep through myself tonight. No, you're not. Before you can reach the fence, I'll have the sheriff on your trail. I'll do what? Before you ever test those sheep, I'll have the sheriff after you. Why, you dirty let double crossing go, hound, go. you! Let me go! Damn you! Somebody Everything all right, Lefty? Yeah. All right, Smiley. Right. Grab a pick and jerk up those posts. Hey, Red, go cut the wires. Come on, grab a shovel and help him out. All right. Okay. Take it, Sammy. You better leave that fence alone, Buck. Hey, listen. You shut your mouth if I'll shut it for you. Come on, Smiley. Get her up. Wait. Wait, boys. I don't let him through. It's that young Bledsoe. Come on, let's get him before he stampedes those sheep. Come on, hurry. All right, Max. He won't get away from us this time. Come on! Can you reach the drag? Get out of here. Hello, boy. Hello, Hello Jim. Jim. What the heck? Where are oh, you going, yeah. anyway? What happened, anyway, Jim? Well, there's one flock of sheep that won't get through this range tonight, I'll tell you that. Well, where have you been? Oh, I ran into Rankin and this gang down here, and they wrote me off my horse. What happened to you, Red? All oh, that gang of sheep herders tied us up here when we were asleep. The heck they did. Let's yeah. go and get Rankin and his gang. Let's hey, go. Hey, wait a minute, fellas. Now, listen. There's going to be no more fighting tonight. Let's get the fence up. That's the important thing. But, Jim, you're not going to let them get away with that kind of stuff, are you? Now, listen, Perry. We're not chasing trouble. And don't argue with me. Give me those guns and get to work, boys. We've got a lot of work to do. And let's get going. Come on, strip on the boots. Say, hey, buddy, get that shovel and get on that post oh. over there, will you? Ah, uh, they think they've got us buckled. Now, listen, Perry, don't argue with me and get going. Guess there's no chance running those cattle out of rainbows in tonight. Reckon not. That kid sure stampeded them sheep. He sure did. Thank you. 
Hey, Buck. What's the matter? Whole tug's laying here all shot up. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Hey, what happened? He got him just below the heart, Buck. Gee, that's too bad. I'll gamble the old man got shot trying to keep that kid from stampeding the sheep. Yeah, I bet that's just what happened. I tell you, better load him on a horse and take him home. All right. Get his head there, Red. Careful with him. Pull of his head there. Raise him up a little more on that side. All right. Hey, you leave my horse. <laughs> What's the trouble, Jim? Mm -hmm. Oh, Buck Franken's been acting pretty mm -hmm. desperate lately. And I think it's about time we were clipping his claws. Give him enough rope and he'll hang himself. <laughs> well, if he does, it'll save the sheriff a lot of trouble. Who sent it? Hello, Jim. Hi, Jack. Uh, the boss says to start round up tomorrow. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Oh, we're out in Arizona where the bad men are. Just us and there's a guy you want to meet them far. Well, the rough and the tough of all of them by far was ragtime cowboy Joe. Well, he got his name singing to the cows and the sheep. Every night and morning, say, sings a herd of sleep in a battle boy, so rich and deep. Well, he grew so soft and low. He always sings, he always sings ragged music to the cattle as he swings. As he swings back and forward in the saddle on a horse. On a horse that is syncopated gaiter. And it's such a funny meter to the roll of his repeater. How they run, how they run when they hear his gun. For the western folk all know that he's a highfalutin' root. Son of a gun from Arizona, ragtime cowboy, ride 'em cowboy, ragtime You're not going to let young Bledsoe get away with this, are you? Did you see him do the shooting? Well, uh... Why, I saw him at the barn, blazing away with his gun. Oh, yes. Fred Carter said your father was plugged while he was trying to stop Jim from stampeding his sheep. Didn't he, Lefty? He sure did. You were right about the Bledsoe. I wish I had listened to you in the first place. Why, sure. I'm always right. I'm going to call the sheriff. That's what I do. Give me the sheriff's office, please. Hello. Oh, hello, Ruth. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. Thank you. Jim Bledsoe? Yes, Mr. Barkley. Red Card and some of the boys saw it happen. All right, Ruth. I'll attend to it. the music of that song the boys were singing the other night. Do you mean rolling along? Yeah. Let's try and sing it. I know the words. All right, Jim. I love to listen to the whippoorwill 
and watch the sun grieve o'er the hill. I greet the newborn day, and then I'm on my way. I love to underneath the open sky and let the world go drifting by. I'm happy as can be. When cares pursue me, I'm never gloomy, I keep on singing a song. Though the clouds hang low, I laugh at woe and go roll, roll, roll and along. No need to hurry, no need to worry, that things are gonna go wrong. Like the birds that sing, I dream of spring as I roll, roll, roll and along. I'll spend the hours among the flowers. I'll stay away from the fall. Let it rain or shine, the world is mine as I roll, roll, roll and along. <laughs> Say, that's pretty good. Well, that wasn't bad. Huh? Hello, Tom. Hello, Hank. What brings you up here? Heard you had some trouble over your fence line. Oh, oh that was nothing. There was no harm done. Depends on what you call harm. Say, what are you driving at, Sheriff? I want Jim. Jim? Yep. What other ones do we know? Uh, oh, Jim. Yes, Dad? The sheriff wants to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the calaboose to yours, kid. Hello, Hank. Hello, Jim. Are you over to Henderson's barn? Yes, I was. Then you're under arrest for shooting Hug Wilson? Hug Wilson? That's what I said. Jim. Well, I didn't do it, Dad. Who's accusing him? Ruth Wilson. Ruth? Why, there's something wrong somewhere, Sheriff. I'll ride over and talk to Ruth. Can't be done, Jim. You've got to go with me. All right, boys. Get on your horse. All right, Ruth Wilson. Hold him till I get back. All right, Jim. Get mounted, boys. Come on, get your feet. Pull your guns out here. Pull them out. Come on, get rid of the hardware. All right, stand back. Cut out the horse, Flynn. Give me that gun. Come on. Don't get excited, Sheriff. Just make yourselves at home until Jim gets back. Tom, I'm holding you responsible for that kid. Sheriff, if my boy said he'll come back, he'll do it. How long do you figure on being gone? Why, my aunt wants me to stay all summer. All summer? Wow. Be all right if I ride over and kind of visit a while? Sure, if you want to. Uh -huh. Why, you know I want to. Why, Doc, won't you please get the horses ready? Oh, all right. Hurry, Lefty. My blood so starting a roundup. On a roundup? Well, listen, we've got to get the cattle out of the corral at Rainbow's End right away. 
I'll go up and start them if you look after the fence. All right, okay. It'll be a cinch. All of Bledsoe's men will be away on the roundup. Did you change the brands? Sure. We changed Bledsoe's B into a box eight. Ah, fine. How many of them are there? Oh, I should judge about 600 beef steers and possibly 150 cows, and most of them's got calves, too. Oh, great. I'm on my way now. All right, hurry up. I got to get some horses. I'm ready, Black. Ruth. Ruth, I... Why, uh, how dare you come into this house? But you don't believe I had anything to do with it, do you? Why, of course I do. Red Carter said he saw you at Henderson's barn when it happened. Why, Ruth, I didn't know anything about your father until this morning. I'll admit that I was at the barn, Ruth, but that's all we want to know. All right, Ruth. Go get the shutter. But, Buck... Go on, go ahead. You'll find him over at my place, Ruth. Pretty brave when you've got a gun, aren't you, Buck? Well, maybe I'll need it. Senor Sheriff, stop the game, Mr. Taylor, and you're a thing of course, we can put on for that to take care of that. Why, certainly. Well, gentlemen, no intended? No plan on the Spanish? Any of you fellas talk this big stuff? No. Is that any of you fellas? Chico? No puedo, senor. Por Dios, no puedo enseñar a la Spanish. Sure, sure. Ah, qué bueno. Por favor, la dije en él que ni quiere... ¿Qué tiene usted, señor? No, él no sabe. Jim's horse. Yep, that's him. There's a note on the saddle there, Bob. I never knew there was a corral at Rainbow's End. I figured that's where the rest would be working. Give me that gun. I'll tend to you when I get these other cattle taken care of. Boys, get your hardware and let's get out of here. Sí, pero no voy, Don't try and kid me, Buck. Uh-uh. Stay by the way. When Ruth gets back from visiting her folks, me and Earl get married and settle down here. Why, you? Me? Don't make me nervous. Plus, my trigger finger might slip. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. No? Maybe it won't be the last. Say, I know I got a bunch of fat steers in Wayne Bowles, ain't When I sell some, I'm going to buy me some more sheep. Yeah, I'll bet a lot of those steers once were our brand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe so. I used to laugh when you told the sheriff. 
that my branding iron was always hot. <laughs> There's the cattle, Sheriff. The wrestlers are heading them for the border. All right, boys, go and head them off. Hey! Hey! There's the sheriff. Somebody tipped us off. I golly, you were right. Well, it's too late now. We might just as well shoot our way out of it. Okay. Give me some 45, Fred. Come out the cell. So am I. I. Might as well beat it. Okay. Oh. All right, boys. What's the trouble? Why, Doc Franklin, you're calling Jim Blesso, a prisoner at my house. Oh, he is. Well, okay, we'll get him right away. Oh, hey, Sophie, Bob, come here. Senorita, por favor, necesito hablar con él. Hey, listen. Let's go down here and listen to and I'm going after him. You boys start the cattle down that way. All right, Come on, Sheriff, quick. Come on, I'm going after him. Oh, boy, I'm going to get him. Oh, that's all right. Yes, sir? Your neck is in the noose right now. Why don't you make a getaway? No, thanks, Doc. I'll wait here for the sheriff. Ah, go on. I tell him. You're pretty clever, aren't you, Buck? Yeah? You want me to make a break so you'll have an excuse for plugging me, eh? Yeah? Well, maybe I don't need an excuse. Hello, Ruth. Come on, Buck. Get to your feet.
Well, Bledsoe, when you tore up the place, you sure gave me a good excuse. Go ahead, Buck. You haven't got the nerve to shoot. No? Wait a minute, Ruth. I'll go in first. Well, if that's a sheriff, he'll save me the trouble. Here's your prisoner, sheriff. Try to make a getaway, but I held him. You sure saved me a heap of trouble, Buck. Yeah. Say, I'm sure riding into town to see you swing. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. All right. Snap on it, Sheriff. <laughs> you got him on the wrong man, Sheriff. No, I didn't. Yeah, but it's young Bledsoe you want for the shooting of Tug Wilson. No, I didn't. It's you. Why, what do you mean? Well, Ruth, tell Sanchez to speak his little piece again. Uh, Sanchez, sí. uh, dice a los señores lo que me dijiste para mí hoy en la tarde. Bueno, señorita. Señores, uh, el otro noche cuando estabas en la cabaría con el señor Wilson. Uh, he says that the other evening when he was with my daddy, that he saw Buck arrive. Señor, ahí viene Aro. Cuidado porque es un muy mal hombre. What's the idea, Todd? Hello, Buck. Hey, what does this mean? Just what it says. I'm through. You double-crossing little rat. Let me go. Let me go. I rat. <laughs> Y cuando hay este papel y la cartucha, yo me voy a recio para la ciudad para buscar a la policía. Pero no estás allá. Y me buscando más, estás en el brezo. Oh, he says that uh, when he found this paper, he rushed to town, but found you gone. So he trailed you to Bledsoe. Why, you don't eat. Let me go. Hey, Take it easy, Lord. Look. Everything all right, Jim? You bet, Dad. Well, Sheriff, we rounded up the gang and recovered every head of missing stock. That's fine, Tom. Did you get them all back? Thanks to you, Jim. I think our troubles are just about at an end. Keep going, Buck. Gee, I hope so. We sure had enough this last year. Well, I think they're over for good now. Thank you. Muchas gracias, amigo. Tan nada. Es mi mucho gusto a saber usted, señor. What is it? I'm awful sorry. I should have known better. Is that so? Yes, that's so. <laughs> oh, honey, forget it, Ruth. It looks like their troubles are just about to begin. Looks that way. 